Hey, this is Candice from CreateFreedomWithCandice.com. I simplify marketing strategy for entrepreneurs so that they could have the confidence to take the right action and start building a profitable business through online marketing. So some of my subscribers have seen the video about how to create your first ebook using a free tools. And I'm so glad I got all this feedback. And now the question is, how do I make this ebook to be more presentable, attractive to people? So if you haven't watched the video about how to create your first ebook, be sure to click the description or the drop down arrow if you're on the phone. Click the drop down arrow so that you can find the link to, uh, to watch that video about how to create your first ebook. Now, if you have watched that ebook and you have created your ebook and you have been writing it to me, that is awesome. But if you watch this video and you haven't done one, be sure to look at that one. Not a big deal, it's not that hard. Today, I'm actually gonna take time out to show you how you could actually create a book cover that makes your book look attract a, an attractive, right? Take a look at this. This is one of my ebook and I created this one and this is one of the cover. This is my book cover, right? Pretty cool. So most of the time people will say, well, I'm just gonna have someone else to do it for me. Yes, you do have that option. If you want to have someone to do it for you, that is totally fine. You could go to Fiverr and actually have someone to do it and has a much, much better quality than, I mean, this one that I do with a free tool, I can't complain. I did it myself. I'm not going to complain. It is what it is. Better than nothing, right? So if you want to learn how to do it yourself, in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through from the, be from the beginning to the end how I create a cover like this, a book cover like this, just for your ebook. So stay tuned. Okay, here we are on my desktop. All right, I'm gonna walk you through step by step. So step number one, what you need to do is to look for a blank book cover because you need to have a book cover, right? So I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna put blank book cover templates, all right? And once I put it in there, um, you will see quite a bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and go straight to the image because that's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go to the image. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking for, okay? This one looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Click on it, looks pretty good, but it seems like it's a bit small, all right? So I'm not gonna bother with this. And let's take a look at, um, let's say this one. This one looks pretty good, so I'm gonna click on it. It looks decent, good, all right? You could actually save it, right? You could actually go ahead and save this. Um, you could actually look and see if there's anything else. This one looks pretty good. So when you click on it, it looks pretty good, right? But wait, if you look carefully, there's a little image right here. There's a little watermark. There's a little watermark right here. And there's a little watermark right here. So it, it's very, you may not be able to see it because I'm sharing the screen, but I want to let you know when you're looking for a blank cover, um, blank cover, a uh, book cover, make sure there's no watermark on it. So I can use this because, you know, I will not be able to cover that, okay? So um, let's see, how about this one? Does this one look good? This one look good, but I don't like how it look. I mean, I like it, I don't, kind of small. You know, it could be if you're making a guidebook. You know what, let me just go ahead and use this, use this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this image, all right? I'm gonna save this image on the desktop. So let's uh, let's do a save in image. Um, okay, I'm gonna just do it like this, book cover templates. Now that I find the book cover templates, the next thing that I want to do, now, before I start anything, right? Before I start anything, I wanna go through that book template. I'm gonna go right click on here because I wanna see the size so that I know the size. So I want to go to click on resize and go to pixel. It's 318, 418. It's kind of small. It's very small uh, book, uh, but it will work, okay? So it doesn't matter. And actually, I'm going to show you one of the book covers that I have downloaded. So if this one, let's say this is the one that I'm going to decide to use. I'm going to go to resize, go to pixel, 600 and 600. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you why it's important for you to know. So the next thing, next thing that I wanted to do is actually, now that I found my book cover, I'm gonna actually go to um, Canva. So we're gonna go to Canva and I could actually put in book cover. 
and it will actually pull up the book cover um, templates. Now you could create your own templates or just like anything else, the Canvas has the template. It is up to you however you want to do it. Remember, if you have a book cup, if you already have an ebook done already, another good thing for you to do is that actually cover you know, make a copy of that ebook. What I mean by is, um, let's see, let me go back to Canvas. So I'm going to show you, right? I have an ebook already done, right? This is my ebook. So if I want to stay in with the same theme, you don't have to, but if you want to stay with the same theme, you could actually go back to that file and copy that. But I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to start from scratch, okay? So we're not going to do the the, the, we're not gonna do the um, the um, copy copy one, all right? So I'm gonna zoom this out a little bit bigger so we can it, it's it will be easier for us to see. Okay. So I'm gonna click on this. Uh, I don't want a full screen, but I do want to make it bigger. All right, so I'm gonna go to 50% so that I could actually see it a little bit better, but not too big, okay? So I could, you could actually click on one of these templates and start with the templates, whichever one you want, okay? If that, that's what you wanted to do, not a big deal. If that's what you want, click on one of the free ones. So let's say if I'm gonna stick with, let's say I'm gonna start with this, I'm gonna do this one, right? So, all you need to do now that you have templates, all you need to do is just change it. So a keto, keto diet must know, right? Let's say if that's the, that's the, 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 the book that I want to cover, or I say keto diet guy, let's put it this way, keto diet guide. Okay, let's do it this way. I'm gonna resize it so that they could fit in. It's a 79, so if I go to 72, it should fit, okay? So you could change the font however you want. Um, right here, I could delete this and I could use this as a subtitle, right? If I could use this as a subtitle, maybe I could call it, um, I actually created one earlier. Um, it's called the 10 thing you must know. So let, let's do it, 10 things you must know before starting keto diet all right so if this is the book that i want and i'm gonna i could change the image i don't need to keep, stay with this image i click on the image and i delete it okay i just delete the image okay because it's already templates now if you want to let's say if you don't if you have a picture of your image you could you know again go back to upload and then do that if you have just the you know you don't have image and you want to use one of the free image you could always click on uh element and go to photo and you could actually do search so this is about diet so i could just put food so see what comes up okay there's a lot of different things that comes up that you could actually use all right you could actually use from from, from here so let's say i'm going to use this one all right I'm gonna use this one and I'm kind of drag it and it just fit right into it. So, and I'm gonna put, put the name, let's say this is from Michelle Anderson. So now it's done. So now I create a cover of the book. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this file, a PNG file, I'm gonna download it. That's not a big deal, all right? I'm gonna download this. And the next thing that I wanted to do, all right? Remember earlier we checked that image all right we check that image to find out what's the size right it was a it was what um 600 plus 600 so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually go to my download folder and i'm going to look for this uh image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually right click i'm going to go edit okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually go to resize and go to pixel it was 600 by 600 with the original the book cover so I want to stay around that area you want to stay with that size so I'm gonna go with 550 all right I'm gonna go with 550 and then I will save this let me just go ahead and save this on the desktop so that it's easy for me to find it okay so I'm gonna click on it 
okay? And that's it. Now that, you know, now that I'm done the cover on the canvas, so the next thing that you need to do, the next place that you need to go is, this is a website called pixlr.com. So the link, it's inside the description, so go ahead and click on the link pixlr.com so when you go there there is a free version you could use a free version i have been using the free version and if there is a paid version as well so you go to pixlr and you open up pixlr editor okay if this is the first time and you if you don't have flash player to download it it will ask you to do so okay so i'll open this and when it open this is what it looks like okay pixlr Added it. This is where the fun begin, guys. This is where it start. Okay, so you want to go go to open image from computer. So I'm gonna click on open image from computer, and I'm gonna click on the book cover that I was looking at. It was this one. So blank book cover. I'm gonna open this book cover. Here comes the book cover. All right. Now this bottom right here. Later on, we could actually crop it out with edit it. Okay. So now that the book cover is open. Now, you want to go layer, all right? You want to go to layer, and you want to open image as layer. So I'm going to click on image, open image as layer, and I'm going to go to the one that I just created, which is this one right here. I just created, um, and I'm going to click on open. And you see it's kind of big right now, right? That's not a big deal. Next thing you wanted to do, it's not gonna be hard. Next thing you wanna do is click on edit. So I'm gonna click on edit. And I wanna go click on free this torrent right here. And I click on it and you will notice at this four corner, you don't see it in the bottom, but four corner has this. This is where the builder is. You just go click on it and you can kind of drag it to the corner of the book, you see? All right, you drag it. Now it doesn't have to be perfect right now. And I'm gonna move it up a little bit because it's too long. And I'm gonna move it up because I'm gonna make it so it fit the boat. Don't worry if it's not fitting the boat right now, it will be because we're gonna make it fit. You see how you kind of just drag it, right? I'm gonna drag it to each corner of the book. You find a corner, you drag it, and that's it. If you wanna cover all the whole thing, you could cover all the way to the corner of the book cover and it will cover the whole thing. That is pretty much it. And that's how you create your book cover. See, that's just it. You've created your own first book cover. That is it, that's guys, that's just it. All right, so the next thing, you now that you're done, you just click on save. You say yes, you want to apply changes. You say yes, you go on and click on save. You want save image. And then you just put your the title, the name of it. And so it would be uh, Keto, uh, let's go put in here. That's good. Keto diet guide. Okay. And you want to say PNG and then we click on save. And now it's going to save on my desktop. All right. And if I go to my desktop now, all right, I'm going to go to my desktop. I should see my book cover right here. Voila. So now, remember, we have this free right here. What you can do is I could go back to my desktop, right? I'm going to go find this, and I go edit it, and I could crop it out, right? So I'm going to make it smaller so I can see it better. And all I need to do is just cut the bottom part of it, right? And voila, here comes my book, you know? That's it, guys. That's how you create a book cover for your ebook. How sweet is that? And you, and it did not cost you anything to make this book cover. It's free, it's easy. Guys, if you like this video and you feel like, you know what, this is so easy. Again, I'm here to make things simple for you so that you can start taking the action so you don't have to stuck in the learning mode and start taking action and start building a profitable business. Be sure to click on the description there to find all of those resources, all those links. If you need to review any of my video, be sure to do so. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. 
share this video and subscribe to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to say hi so I can say hi back to you. Welcome to my community. With that being said, guys, this is Candace from Create Freedom with Candace.com. I'll see you later. Bye.